Yo. Hello. How's it hanging? Good. We're three weeks into this challenge now. It's been good. I've made a lot of progress, that's for sure. But I'm also realizing how big the mountain that I have to climb is. Yeah, Charlie, we're going to Candy Mountain. It's good. I'm starting to understand magic and all of its intricacies a lot better, but I still don't have a routine or a plethora of tricks to perform. Um, so that's the challenging part, but I've kind of shifted my focus, figuring out what I need to do for my performance and then focusing specifically on that. Yeah, I mean, if I just get up on stage and do 10 unrelated card tricks in a row, that that's nothing. The, the real challenge here is formulating an idea and turning it into one cohesive performance. Uh, Have you got some people that can help you with that? I had this guy, a Croatian magician, reach out to me on Reddit and... Oh, really? Yeah, awesome. and I had a Skype call with him the other day and... He's actually in Croatia. He's literally in Croatia. Uh, it was really, really helpful. I can tell you this much. I, I'm definitely not going to be doing a serious act. It's not going to be, you know, a David Blaine or anything like that. I would definitely be going down the comedy route. I, I do enjoy mentalism and that's something that I want to investigate more. Uh, first thing for us, a show always has a theme, you know, and that's like, you know, pushes the uh, the performance uh, to the next level because you're a magician now. Because <laughs> now you're that guy, at, you know, at, at work who does magic. And to them, you're a magician. It, it, it doesn't matter if you know like three tricks. Yeah. So as you can probably tell, the uh, audio from these conversations was not very good. So rather than making you suffer through poor quality audio, I'll summarize the conversation. We were talking about magic theory and a game plan going forward. Awesome, man. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you and we'll talk soon. That's it. Good night. <laughs> uh, see ya. Are you going to make your story as part of the act as well? Yeah, this is something I workshopped with Nevin. I was like, look, do you think I should play on that or I should completely ignore the fact that I've only been doing magic for such a short period of time? And he's like, 100%, that's your story, man. You have to include that. Yeah, I think that that's kind of cool. If, you, if you're not doing a poker bit, mm. the story of your journey in three months, I think there's a lot in that. That's really cool. So that Nevin guy, he sent me some homework that I needed to do. And it was literally like this novel uh, of tasks and things to watch. So I did it last night. It was incredibly helpful. The tasks were like, look at this performance. How long is he talking for? When does he do a trick? How does he engage the audience? What is the purpose of that move? Why does he do this? It's forcing me to break down pre-existing excellent performances and see how they're structuring it. Are you going Yes, I am. I'm definitely going to that. That's something I wanted to talk to him about. Someone had suggested that I ask him if I can perform at his show, like on one of the cards. I, I don't see why not. I think especially if you kind of approach it with a, this is what I'm aiming to do, do you think it's better to get organised my own show? Or could, you know, how do you apply to top hat? Yeah, I guess we'll see. I'll ask him the question. He might just be like, no, excellent magicians only, none of this three month bullshit. I'll have a clearer picture once I meet with him, I think. What, yeah. what I am hoping he can do is show me some tricks that I can do at the football this weekend. What, what I want to do is like a routine, where it's like a pick a card, any card routine. And when I, when I say, is this your card? It's actually a blank card that I've written on. So the card will say something like, D's suck. And then they'll pull it. I'll be like, that's weird. Maybe this is your card. And it'll say like, go Suns. Yeah, and no one glasses you. And he never came back from the football that day. <laughs> <laughs> the penny is starting to drop. Learning the tricks is only a portion of the battle. I'm trying to be a performer here. So I'm working through the homework that Nevin sent me. It's a lot of work, but this is proving to be a really good exercise. I'm breaking down and analyzing performances and yeah, trying to deconstruct what goes into it.